Hello, and welcome to Board Game Gumbo. Today we're unboxing Paris, the City of Light from Devere Games. This is a game for two players. It plays in about 30 minutes. Here we have our rule book. Here we have action cards. So action cards will be used on the second phase of the game. And you'll use a total of eight of these. Each one of these has a different action on it. And the book does explain how those actions are used. When you use one of these actions, you'll flip the card over because they'll all, each only be used once. But they do have some very nice art on them as well. You got some player pieces and this is a two player game. So one player will be orange, the other will be blue. These are chimneys. Some extra bags here the building pieces themselves, which are cardboard, but they're very nice doubled layer cardboard. You can see they actually have some depth to them. Then we have some punch out boards here. One of the things about this game is that the box is actually the play area. So you'll be playing your tiles into here. Each player will get a hand of these tiles, or a deck of these tiles, essentially. And see there's orange and blue. So the orange player will get all these tiles. The tiles themselves have bo both orange and blue on them, and then some other colors as well, as well as street lamps. And those become important uh, when it comes to scoring. Each side also has four action tokens. These are to activate the different postcards during that phase. And then we've got some extra cardboard here. These are different pieces used for the different action tiles, including adding extra street lamps, or in this case, the painter here, which has his own little stand. So the game is essentially played in two different phases. In the first phase, players are going to be either playing a tile from their hand. So you'll have a deck of tiles and you'll draw one and that'll be your hand. And on your turn, you can either play that tile to the board. And you see there are little spots indicating where you can place the tile. So I could put the tile here, but I can't straddle that line there. So I could put the tile there as my turn. And then I would draw another tile and then play would go to my opponent who'd either play a tile or can claim one of the buildings. The buildings are ultimately how you score points at the end of the game, but each unbuilt building is negative points. So while you may want to take one of the larger buildings on your turn, you can't play it later in the game. You'll earn negative points. This first round of the game, either playing tiles or taking buildings, will continue until every tile is played. So essentially this entire board will be filled up with different player tiles in in whatever order that they choose to play them. After every of these cobblestone tiles has been played, then you'll go to the second phase of the game, which is either playing buildings or activating the different action cards. So once this has been played, then you'll go to the phase where you can play buildings. During that phase, you can do one of two things on your turn, just like in the first phase. You can either play one of the action cards, which will be out a 
along the side of the board. And what you'll do with those is you'll activate whatever ability it is, you'll flip it over, and then you'll put your token on it to denote that you did that. So you only have four of these tokens, which means you can only activate a total of four, but there are eight, so they'll all get activated. Also, all the buildings will be played unless you get into a situation where you can't play them because you can only play buildings to areas that either have your color, so either orange or blue, depending on who you are, or to the neutral areas, the purple areas. And you're doing all of this to score points. Most of your points are going to come from the buildings you have built during the course of the game. So, for instance, if Blue had built a building here, that building itself is worth four points because it covers four tiles. But there's also a multiplier, and that's the street lamps. So because these, this four tile is next to one street lamp, it's only worth four points. If you were able to build a four tile building next to three street lamps, for instance, let's say Blue had built this here, this is a three tile building next to two street lamps, so it's worth six points. And that's it, that's everything you get in Paris, the City of Light.